In this tutorial, we will explore the process of obtaining an API key from OpenAI for using their models in programming projects. I'll guide you through the steps to securely manage this crucial data. Following that, we'll delve into the integration of the GPT chat model using Langchain packages. The tutorial will cover the art of creating effective prompts and demonstrate how to sequentially link these prompts to the chat models, forming a basic chain. Additionally, we will analyze the impact of well-constructed versus poorly crafted prompts on the model's responses. To get started, go to platform.openai.com, and then on the right-hand side, go to API Keys. As you can see, I already have one key. Create a new key by clicking Create New Secret Key. Give it any name you like and hit Create Secret Key. Click Copy to copy the secret key to the clipboard and move back to the Visual Studio code. Here, we need to create a new file called .env. This is a special file, so don't change the name. In this file, create a new variable and paste the secret key. Don't show this key to anyone as it is your authentication method. Save the file and close it. Let's now import the OS package, which gives us access to the operating system. Now, we also need the .env package so that we can get the API key from the .env file that we just created. Ah, as you can see, the package is not installed, so let's install it by using the pip command. The package we need is python-env. Now let's give it a few seconds for it to proceed. Now let's load the content of the .env file into the operating system. We now get the OpenAI API key using the getNV function of the OS. Its argument would be the name of the variable that we used to store the key in the NV file. Just for demonstration purposes, let's just print the key. As I mentioned before, you should not expose the key or show it to anyone else. So let's delete this cell. In this cell, we import the chat open AI function from Langchain open AI package. Again, the package is not installed. So let's install it using the peep command. We need to give it a few seconds to install. Now let's first clear the window. Also, we do not need this cell anymore, so let's delete it. At this point, we are ready to import the chat model. In this cell, we define our large language model to be the chat model of the OpenAI. We need to insert the OpenAI API key as an argument for authentication purposes. And now is the time to ask the large language model to do something for us. Here we insert the prompt directly to the LLM. For example, tell me a joke. As you can see, the response is stored in the content variable of the AI message. But, it is not a good practice to insert the prompt directly into the chat model. For that reason, we import the chat prompt template from the prompts of the Langchain core. Let's now create a professional prompt using the from messages of chat prompt template. It takes a list of tuples as its argument. The first component of the tuple tells the chat model who is speaking to it 
And the second component is the actual message. In the first tuple, we usually define the, the system instructions of who the chat model should be. And in the second tuple, we add the user input as a placeholder variable to be inserted later. And here is the prompt. We can even extend it if needed. Let's now define a simple chain that takes the prompt and passes it to the chat model to be processed by the large language model. Here we will invoke the chain just as we invoked the LLM variable. The difference is that instead of directly passing the whole prompt, we just need to pass the user input. This is the placeholder that we left in the prompt when defining it. And here we tell the chain what the actual user input is. Again, the AI response is stored in the content variable. And here is the joke. In order to better see the joke, we can first store the whole thing into a variable, which we name it AI message. Next, we can get the joke through the content feature of the AI message. To better see the joke visually, we can place the whole thing inside a print function. Before proceeding, and to prepare for future lessons, let's first delete this installer that we used to install the mini conda in the previous video. Also, let's rename the file that we are working on to something that better presents what we are doing. And let's clear all the cell outputs. Now let me show you the importance of how you present the system to the chat model. Let's say, for example, you are not a helpful assistant who makes fun of everything. Also, let's give some context to the user prompt such that the placeholder takes only a subject in the form of a single word. Rerun this command to update how we define LLM. And let's insert the earth as the input into the placeholder in the user prompt. Invoke the chain again. And now print the output. As you can see, the AI is making fun of our question because of how we instructed it to be in the system prompt. Let's see another example. We first tell the system to say the opposite of what the truth is. Again, update the LLM. and now print the message. The AI is telling the opposite of the truth now. Okay, let's now fix the issue by correcting the system prompt. One common instruction is that you are a helpful assistant. And here are the outputs. Nice and useful. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next course. Take care for now. If you're finding value in this video and our content, could you take a second to hit that like button? It's a small action for you, but it means the world to us. Not subscribed yet? Let's change that. Join our community today by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos packed with more amazing content. Your support motivates us to keep creating and sharing. Thanks a million.